about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made it when it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. When the music fades and all is stripped away, and I simply Just to bring something that's of worth that will bless your heart when the music fades. When the music fades and all is stripped away, and I simply come longing just to. much deeper within through the way things appear you're looking into my heart I'm coming back to the heart of worship when it's all about you it's all about you I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I made it when it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm coming back to the heart of worship when it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I made it when it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm coming back to the heart of worship when it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made it when it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. simply come longing just to bring something that's a word that will bless your heart I'll bring you more than a song for a song in itself is not what you have required search much deeper within through the way things appear you're looking into my heart I'm coming back to the heart of worship when it's all about you it's all about you Jesus I'm sorry Lord for the thing I've made it when it's all about you it's all about you Jesus I'm coming 
back to the heart of worship when it's all about you it's all about you jesus i'm sorry lord for the thing i've made it when it's all about you it's all about you Search much deeper within through the way things appear. You're looking into my heart. I'll bring you more than a song. I'll bring you more than a song. For a song in itself is not what you have required. You search much deeper within. Jesus, I'm 
sorry, Lord, for the thing that we made it, cause it's all about you, it's all about you. not what you have required You search much deeper within Through the way things appear You're looking into my heart Come back I'm coming back to the heart of worship And it's all about you it's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I made it. When it's all about you, it's all about you, Jesus. So I'm coming back to the heart of worship. When it's all about you, it's all about you. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made it, and it's all about you, it's all about you, Jesus. Grace. 
The nails in his hands and thorns on his brow, rivers of mercy endlessly flowing down. There is a place, there is a place of sorrow.
going to go into a time of singing and praying through the Word of God. Tonight we'll be reading from Psalm 24. If you have your Bible, we encourage you to open it up to Psalm 24 and join us as we sing and pray and meditate on the Word. Psalm 24, verses 1 and 2. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof the world and those who dwell therein, for he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. You, God, are above, you are over, you are in and through all that you have created. You are mighty God. Princes think that they have power, nations roar with their might. The enemy flaunts his dominion and calls himself mighty over the earth, but none of this shakes your preeminence, your sovereignty, mighty God. We stand in awe of your presence, your might, your wisdom, and your glory. Just as you have established the earth full of your glory, establish yourself in our hearts, in our minds, in our souls here tonight. We are yours, Lord, and your living water flows through us. Let us be unshakable in our trust, in your unlimited strength and power. As we declare your glory, your power, and your might, we discover more of the depths of your glory. We want to go deeper, and we will keep singing your praises. You are fully faithful. Yet as we sing your praises, we see this truth more and more clearly, and our trust becomes even easier. Our praises fuel going deeper and deeper, so we praise you tonight. You are established, mighty God, creator. You are God.
24, verses 3 and 4. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to what is false and does not swear deceitfully. Lord, we want to ascend your hill, to be close to you. We want to see your face. Give us a holy fear, God, a desire to see you face to face, tempered with the knowledge of your immeasurable glory and justice. In your grace and compassion, you have made a way for our soiled hands to be clean. You have made a way to bring the unholy into your holy presence through the holiness of your Son alone. As I am in Christ and he is in me, I am in you. You make this my only claim to holiness and cleanliness as I ascend your holy hill. Shine your light and reveal the corners of my soul that harbor deceit and arrogance, anything that is false, any thought that trusts another or myself more than you. We want to be ones who ascend your holy here, hill in holy fear and humble, submissive confidence. The confidence we can only find. Those who know their hands are clean only through the blood of the Lamb.
verse 5 and 6. He will receive blessing from the Lord and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, you desire to bless those who are devoted to you, those with clean hands and pure hearts. Your righteousness has been made our righteousness through the gift of salvation. Make us a generation that seeks you, that seeks your face. In our families, make ours the generation that spurs older and younger generations to long for you and to devote everything to your glory. Let every other desire and agenda melt away in the face of your glory, for you are worthy of it all. Oh, God of Jacob. Raise
Psalm 24, verse 7 through 10. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, and lift them up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Lord, you are the King of glory. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are strong and mighty in battle, the Lord of hosts. Come and have your way in us. Come and swing wide our gates so that nothing stands between. In every place that we try to hold back or hide from you, we confess our own lordship is out of place. Lift up your heads, O gates, that the King of glory may come in. Come in and renew our hearts, renew our minds, awaken our spirits, and take your place as Lord over all. It is with joy that we sing, lift up your heads, O gates. We do not shudder in shame at what you will find inside. We do not fear your anger, but we quake in awe at the smallest glimpse of you. You are worthy of such honor and holy fear, and we invite you in with hearts full of anticipation, praise, honor, and wonder. As we swing open our gates and open long closed doors, we bow in worship at your feet. You are the victorious one and we will give you all the glory. King of glory, come in.
Just one, and you take your place. We want to see you rightly, we want to see you as King. Help us to see you.
You don't want to just say that you're our king But we want to see you, see you rightly as king So be the king of our hearts Be the king of our minds Be the king over everything, everything Thank you. You are the king of glory, that we can rest in assurance that you are sovereign over all, from creation to the establishment of your kingdom forever. We trust you. We grow our faith through your praise. 
We lift you high, Lord of lords and King of kings. We open up every gate and every door and invite you to come take your place. King of glory.
Jesus, the only one that could ever say. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. We live for you. Holy, holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder and show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me. And holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder and show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those who are holy, holy. There is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder and show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me, Lord, lead me in your love, oh, lead me in your love, oh, lead me in your love, oh, I will, and I
Jesus, a name above every other name. Jesus, the only one that could ever save. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. We live for shaken, knowing that you are fully worthy. We come in confidence to your throne, and we stand in victory. Thank you, 
you, Jesus. We will now be going into a time of intercession through prayer topics. Tonight, we'll be praying for Korea, specifically for God to open the gates in areas of Korea. So as we've sung through Psalm 24, we are now bringing that call to open the gates into the nation of Korea. Please come into agreement with me as I pray along with the prayer points on the screen and then raise intercession with your own voice as the Spirit leads you to pray through each topic. Lord, in your presence and at your name, every knee must bow and every tongue confess that you are Lord. It is not arrogance for you to demand this. From men's hearts, it is just truth. You are God. And it's also grace that you've made a way for hardened hearts to be softened at the sound of your name. We pray this powerful work of your hand, of the whisper of your voice, poured out here in Korea. Let the hearts of men and women respond with awe and surrender as you reveal yourself. Let hearts be softened at the mention of your name, that they may declare you as king of their hearts. We declare fresh revelation of your glory, piercing hearts with the beauty of your power and your glory. Make way in our hearts for your heart. Let your compassion and your justice flow through us as our hearts become more like yours. Open the gates of our hearts. Open the gates of hearts all over Korea. Let's pray.
Lord, we've seen it from man's pursuit at the Tower of Babel all the way to today. Countless walls built around cities. So are the walls of culture, built for protection and identity, for strength and pride. We declare these walls weakening, not from attack, not from the outside, but from the weight of truth that the true glory due only to your name would be given only to you, that strength would come only from you, that identity would come only from you. Come, Lord, uncover and reveal the idolatry and self-protection that we have come to accept as culture. We declare revelation of your power and provision rooting out the very real pain and bitterness of past injustices, valid and current fears defining the culture of Korea. We declare a revelation of this and a rooting out. We prophesy the fear of the Lord rising up in the hearts of your people to lead in confidence as justice and truth are exposed. Let no fear of man hold back the leaders of culture that you have chosen to change. You have called them to take their place in every area of culture. Make them bold. Make them brave. In this generation, we declare leaders rising up with clear understanding of their identity in Christ and a holy discernment to view their culture with courage and hope. Raise up leaders to change culture and to grow in identity in you. Let's pray. Lord, we prophesy in this season of political upheaval, loosening of hinges on the gates that have divided political factions and families and the nation of Korea divided into North and South. Open these gates through the shaking of today. 
We declare your sovereignty over all the earthly powers, all governments, and all of man's schemes for power over another. Unify the vision of these two nations. Unify families torn apart by borders or bitterness. Unify the people of this nation in justice for those who are helpless rather than competition for personal gain. We cry, lift up your heads, O gates. Swing wide open, you ancient doors, and give way to the King of glory. Loosen the grip of hate and fear to lose bitterness and gain unity. Lord, restoration of all things is in you alone. It is what you do, and it is in the fulfillment of your glorious plan. We look to you for restoration, not in our own might or our own wisdom. Come unify this nation, Lord. Let's pray. heart of your bride. You know her deeds and you know her faithfulness. You know her blind spots. We declare an outpouring of freedom, releasing your church from the grip of religion throughout Korea. Jesus, you have paid the price for your bride to walk in freedom. It was purchased by your blood and her righteousness is only in you. We pray that your bride, your church in Korea will know and walk in the identity and authority that is hers so that she can set others free and open her gates without fear. Your living water flows through your people and we prophesy this living water flowing freely into every community and workplace, every family that your church influences. Let it no longer stay behind closed doors of church on Sunday, but flow out into our lives, flow out into our workplaces, into our families, and into our community. Open the gates of your church, God. Open the gates of your bride, that the doors will swing open, that all will be welcomed, and that your living water will flow out through your people. Let's pray.
you that you are sovereign God of all. So we say, lift up your heads, O gates, Korea, that in the culture there will be unity, that in the church there will be unity, that hearts will be softened. God, we have sown in these prayers today. We will continue to pray these things. We will continue to ask you to search our own hearts. Shine your light into darkened places. Continue to reveal the things that must be revealed. And give us courage to face, courage to stand, and to welcome in your kingdom established here on earth as it is in heaven. We thank you, God. Amen.
confess, Lord, that we desire for heaven to come to earth. We long for the day where Jesus, you come back and you establish your kingdom here on earth. Establish your dominion and your leadership and your, uh, your kingship and your righteousness and justice across all the earth, over all the peoples, all the nations, oh God. So God, we just pray. We confess, God, let heaven come. And God, we just pray right now for the church and this nation of Korea. We thank you, Lord, God, that you are sovereign. We thank you, Lord, that your, your presence is evident and so evident in the history of this nation, oh God. And we just declare, Lord God, that you are sovereign over this election. You are sovereign over the situation between North and South Korea, that it does not scare you. You are not intimidated by any, any plan or work of the enemy, oh God. So God, we just confess our trust is in you. Our faith in you is not shaken by any intimidation, oh God, because you are not intimidated. You will not be shaken. And yeah, we love you, God. We give you the glory. We thank you. We thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray.